Hi everyone, John and Lynn here. We thought we'd come down to a couple of hives and open them up and uh, see what's happening. Oh, the bees are uh, quite active. Uh, the oil seed rate has come into full flower, so uh, I think I'll probably have to add the super to this one. So we'll have a look together and see what's going on in this hive. Here we go then, everybody. Ready? Hello everyone, this is uh, an oil seed rape field right behind me here. Just to let you see, if those of you who don't know what an oil seed rape field looks like, this is it. And this is what you get cold press oil seed from it. And it's absolutely delicious on salads. Sometimes I pour it in a, in a bowl and just dip bread in it and eat it. It's absolutely lovely. It's got a, a nutty taste and it comes from Kent, this particular one. So it's a really good product, we get lovely honey from it and this beautiful Kentish all seed rape. So look out for that on the supermarket and buy some of that and have a taste of it. Here we go then. Give them a little bit of smoke and uh, we'll see what happens. Now I've got the I've got the lid upside down here so I can rest things on it. We'll have a look in this uh, round board, see what's going on. I left a bit of pollen pate in there and uh, they are eating round the edges of it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five frames back this way. That'll give me room to get in. There we go. So we're going into the middle. Just have a look, see what's happening on the on the top one here. Well this has got, it's got capped honey there, but this side is all nectar. So obviously they are bringing in nectar from the all seed rape I'd say. So they will need a super on this. Well this I did take a small frame of bees out of here. There's the queen here, actually. Mm. Look, then. Yeah. We have. Oh, yes. This queen is supposed to be named mm. uh, Leia Lot from last year. Some kind subscriber did uh, name Quite this queen, girl. Queen Leia Lot, and it is marked green. But the green is mm. sort of coming off. I think it's enough to see it, mm. don't you, Lynn? Because we're thinking about remarking it if she's necessary. She's very big, isn't she? Yeah, she's big, Lynn quite big it's anyway, she's big actually. But um, So that queen is there and that queen is a queen layer lot and let's have a look see if we can... Is it? Oh yeah, like that isn't it? I don't know, you can make it out all right. Well, I don't know where it's gone even now. Can you see it, Lynn? Oh. She's over there. There she is. Oh yeah. Where is she, Lynn? You point to her. To the top. Oh, yeah. At the top of the frame. Get a bit closer to it. That's it. Look, it's a big one, see? Quite big, isn't it? Yeah, she is. She's running around like a good one. Right, so um, we'll put that back now. So, say, I took brood from this, uh, this hive for the nucleus, the wild bee colony cutout, and I took a small frame of uh, cat brood from here. So they filled that out in a week and the Queen's laying in it. So, we'll have a little look here. Yep, there's all eggs in there. Yeah, this frame's all got eggs in it, so um, 
it's full of eggs both sides of this behind the bees so you know this queen is laying a lot it's a <laughs> queen lay a lot is quite right for this to name this um, they've got one or two drone being produced here well this beginning of the year so beginning of the season there's one there look, there's a couple of bees here coming out actually look, and they're emerging now look some of these they're drones and all that's a drone look being born now um, let's have a look so we can get on there just here look this is a drone just poking its head out and that's just poking its head out look just being born now that one just coming out like that drone emerging now he's forcing his way out look uh, with all his might his little legs go in it trying to get out so there's one or two drones being produced here so, so that's what it's expected um, Look at that. That's a cat brood there, so that's very nice. So this hive, I haven't even got to really look into this a long way. I can see that it's absolutely fine and it's the right time to add a super. I will have a look in the bottom box, in the main brood box, quickly just to see what's going on. We know the Queen's up there safe, unless she's run down, you know, it's a possible, it could run down. So, see what you think. Hey. Do you want to have a go at these, Lynn? No, I need to let you teach me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there's no brood in this one. Have a look, see if there's any brood at all in this bottom box. Oh yeah, it's all cat brood there, look. Yeah, look, this is a uh, cat brood there, look. So all this is uh, cat brood and it will all be emerging in the next few days or whatever. We've got quite a pattern there. This is uh, Queen Leia lot. <laughs> She's doing her job. She is doing her job Lynn. This is um, a very good Queen. You know, it's quite early on in the year and uh, you know, she's got not a bad pattern for this time of year. They're all doing their little dance. Are they doing the waggle dance Lynn? Yeah. Oh yeah, there, that one. See that one doing the waggle dance, look, so it's pointing that way. And it turn round now and waggle dance that way again, look. Quite a few, there's another one down here. So this is doing it the same way, Lynn? Yeah. Look, watch that one, it's going waggle dance. So this, they're, doing that? they're doing it that angle, so I reckon that's the all seed rape. They're telling all their friends, all seed rape, off you go. <laughs> so this is really good news, this one. That's all pollen in there. Yeah, full of pollen that Linda. Look at that one going full of pollen and he's doing his waggle. Oh yeah, he is, isn't he? But it's just pollen in that one, there's no other things. Yeah, that's a new frame I put in because I took a frame I took a frame out of there. That's they're just starting to draw that out. They're just starting to draw it out and they lend us there. Could like, that be about a week? Yeah, it is actually. It's a bit slow drawing that out, but. They've drawn the other frame out I took out. So we get this one out, there's room there, look, I've got a gap. We don't want to roll them. And that's honey from last year, so they haven't had all the honey. And there's some more honey from last year. Um, so you could later on I will put 
a couple more frames in here, new frames where the honey is. Not just yet, but I will take that out. And so they've got more space for the queen to lay. But for now, I am putting the super on this because there is a honey flow on with the... Can we smoke them off, Lynn? Yeah. There's a, quite a honey flow on with the uh, oil seed rape in the Lynn. Might be better from this side, because okay. the wind's blowing that way. Mm -hmm. It's them up the front that you want off, isn't it? Come on, little ones. You're not very good at me smoking. You are. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, They're Lynn, not listening to it. me. Have I got to be a bit more authoritative? Yeah, smoke it, Lynn. <laughs> yeah, smoke it. They're all out of the way, aren't they? There's one there. Get him out of the way. I'll pull them back, those that are there. <laughs> Move this pollen back a little. I'll leave that in there, that pollen still. Just move it back a bit like this. So, if I had a queen exclusion around here, we could just got to mind the. I got it on the right way around. Yeah. As you see, that Lynn's put that on there so that the B space, the B space in this queen excluder is underneath here. There's no B space here, but there was underneath. So it's important we get it the right way around when you put these on. Mm -hmm. Now, we put this new honey super on here. I've got all new, um, new foundation here. So I've changed nearly all of my equipment this year. Yeah, so this is this is all new. Uh, mm -hmm. So I say I've changed nearly all my equipment this year, my supers. So I've had them for quite a lot of years now, the supers, and uh, I felt that it was time to change a lot of them. Um, even though you can keep reusing them, I wanted to, uh, you know, have new stuff. So that's what I've done. I think I've got a couple of old ones I've saved. So there we are then. We'll have a look at the other hive next door to this one and see how that's getting on. We can compare it. Oh, put the roof back. Put the crown wall back. There we are. Get that up in Take the roof off. I'll give them a bit of a smoke. There was a, a feeder on this one, Lynn, isn't there? Mm. We've got to take the feeder off now. We've got a bucket somewhere, haven't we? Put yeah. the feeder in. They haven't, they haven't took any of the syrup anyway. So we'll put this, in, put this away now, Lynn. Nowhere near as good as the other one. Look. Yeah, it's quite quiet and everything, isn't it? Yeah. This might be a failure. Yeah. Straight away you can just see they're acting so different, aren't they? Yeah, there's not many bees in here. I think uh, it might be a bit of a non. Oh no, there's quite a few down the bottom then. They're just not doing a lot. There's a lot of stores in here. No eggs up here. Get that bit closer. I'm going to take some. 
some of that away that um, we take some of this um, pate off get in here and have a look no eggs in there at all in that mm -hmm. completely empty of eggs well, there's no eggs in there at all but there's plenty of room for the Queen to lay if the Queen's in there, so... We're going to move them over again now. And we're going to have a look for the Queen in the bottom box. Let's move them over. It's what that would sit on top of there, wouldn't you? eggs in there so we've got a queen but it's just not doing very well at the uh, start of the year so mm. the queen is in here because it's laying eggs so she is I mean oh look it's a bit better frame then mm. it's what you call a slow starter mm. see there no, there's, a, there's a bee being born there look it's coming out it's there look it's coming out yeah. But this don't want a soup yet, it's too small. This whole frame is covered in eggs and uh, larvae, so we've got a, we've got a viable queen. brood in all stages here it's not a really good pattern but the Queen's in there somewhere because there's eggs so this is probably honey uh, pollen in this one I'd imagine Pull 
They haven't got any pollen in there. Normally that would be a pollen frame, that one, so just put it away. So they, they don't need a super, but it should build up a bit more, this hive, put it on that way. Well, you can see this hive is uh, nowhere near as busy as the other hive, but there's a fair few bees in here, but only about half the amount I would have liked. So uh, we'll carry on with the uh, put, leaving the pollen patty on there, and uh, we'll hope they build up a bit. I haven't got to put a super on because there's not enough um, bees in here, not enough brood at the moment. They're not going to swarm; they're too small. think then Linda not too bad was it for beekeeping no I'm, I'm not a very good apprentice I'm afraid yes, you yet. are you're, you're fine you're fine at it but as I'm furloughing now because of the coronavirus oh yeah you break, are um, you're maybe I'll be a bit more of an apprentice than what I have been in the past yeah you're training and if we go around training. here look at this lovely field look there's some sheep mm. over there in this field and they're all uh, social distancing yep. look and no one's told them but they are <laughs> and, and what just right over there, uh, sort of right over there, there's an old cottage. But just beyond the old cottage, there's a uh, steam train that we've got in the village of Shepherd's Well. So there we are. We're off then, Lynn, aren't we? Yep. Say bye, everyone. Bye, See you. everybody. See, See you, you in the, the next episode. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Thank you.